Good day, good afternoon. Welcome to another series, another podcast series of Find Your Inner Voice. My name is Coach Boyana from Singapore, from the Vocal Studio. And today with us, we have a special guest who comes all the way and he still is there, uh, as you know, with the current situation. Uh, he comes from Canada. He comes from another country, but he lives in Canada. He's been there for a while. He's a very good friend of yeah. mine um, that I truly appreciate. And uh, we've been doing some music together. We've been singing together many, many years ago. And I never forgot about him. And his name is Martin. Hi, Martin. Thank you for being Bye here today with me and uh, thanks for accepting to be a part of this series how are you how can i not accept this uh beautiful invitation for tonight and the conversation it was right on the point you know so i'm like i've already decided it right away without any kind of doubting <laughs> <laughs> that is really good i know that because i know that i have to i have to say a few words about martin guys uh, Martin is uh, someone who's been singing opera for a long, long time, and he's got a beautiful voice, and he knows a lot about singing. And he is someone that absolutely loves opera singing, despite you know any other genres that he might have come across. I know that his heart is into opera, and he's an opera singer himself, obviously. And uh, yes, Martin. So how, how, what? Where should we start from? Um, I mean, we should start like since, since, uh, so I know you since like, uh, when I was probably 16 years old. Yep. That's it. We know each other since high school. I guess we both were, uh, had a musical high school in, uh, in, uh, singing. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we just continue afterwards and everything, but that's the most time that we knew each other. And then everybody spread each other around the world. And, uh, <laughs> This is how we connected. Zoom is Zoom is our connection right now. <laughs> yeah, Zoom is our connection. That's exactly how it is. But I think uh, mostly, not Zoom only. I think music is what connects us, and the love for classical, yeah. classical music and classical singing. Um, so you know, I I think that's the most that connects us, and uh, you know, and plus kept us as a friends a long time and uh, years and years and ages. We had a couple collaboration together, as I remember. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I have to we tell sang, you. We sang a couple duets together yeah. from classical operas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those duets was, were romantic duets. I still remember them. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice. Yeah. You're very romantic. Yeah, we're very romantic people, actually. I think all singers are very romantic. Uh, yeah. You know, essentially. And I, I agree. Love. I agree. Romantic songs, romantic singing. I love sad songs, right? Do you like sad songs? Yeah, I think everybody likes uh, beautiful music, right? Let's say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so I've started singing since I was a very little kid. Uh, you know, all this like a small uh, concert venues for like little kids. You know, we call it golden singing back in the days. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom pushed me pretty much, you know, me okay, as a young, okay. young boy, I wasn't really interested, right? But my mom was the one that was pushing me, like, as, as I remember, as I was developing as, as a young boy and stuff like that. And then mm -hmm. she, she decided that I, that I should approach this way and uh, go to small festivals for little kids, right? Mm -hmm. But then that time I remember I, I was in the choir for that uh, small kids festival. I was in the choir and then the guy needed to do a song for me. He was about to like, it was all set up, but I was a very shy guy and I didn't want it to go and like, you know, and sing that song. But then after, you know, how you grow up and all that stuff, then you become more, more, uh, more mature and mature. And then, you know, you develop to not to be shy and just to keep singing. And I did it, <laughs> I still did it, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was so funny, right? I was, in, uh, yeah, I was a very shy boy. And then in high school, I just like opened up a little bit. So I started when I was pretty much um, 15 years old, like uh, 15 years old, but it was a professional kind of singing, right? Like yeah. with that yeah. time. And, uh, but normally that time you don't know much about like the voice, uh, the correct uh, techniques, to implement the voice, mm -hmm. to put in a placement, to, you know, to, um, 
to make it like light and dark and all these beautiful kind of tricky uh, techniques that could help us out as a, to develop as, a, as a, any kind of singer. So these techniques, we're talking about like, uh, it's, it's one technique, right? You can implement it with a uh, pop singing, with the jazz singing, and you can do opera with it. It's, it's the only one way to do that. There, there isn't any kind of a different way uh, from what I've learned, from how, how, what my professor taught me, especially in the opera singing and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we developed pretty much in high school quite a lot. We started there, but, you know, that time we wasn't even mature, right? Our voices wasn't even, even like, mature, right? So yeah, yeah. it started to kind of mutate. So... When my voice mutated as a guy and it transitioned to a like a more deeper voice, right? Because I was like, ah, I was like, ah, right? <laughs> yeah. So when that started, <clears throat> was trying to, that was the time and period when you like find yourself and you find your placement. I'm talking about the voice placement. And then you find it, you slowly, gradually, gradually kind of progress. And, um, you know, and um, you know, it's every day learning. It's every day uh, practice and it's it's a big it's it's a, it's a bit of a philosophy you know it's also the way you feel the way you can approach you know the song or the the composition that you need to uh, sing right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's also depend on how, like how you feel the the day that you want to perform and stuff like that so it's mm -hmm. for us as a singer you need to be very tactical very emotional very very kind of like uh, aware of like your emotions during during uh, during the day or during whatever whatever the stage and rehearsal and uh, all these rehearsals that we have. It's a bit of a nerve, rack nerve. But you know what? When you when you tackle with this, then it's just the beauty that comes out after all this like hard working years of like developing voice. You know, finding your inner voice development of the inner voice and uh, getting rid of, of all of your of all of our like bad habits that could like uh stop make you stop singing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know okay okay very good you, you you're bringing a lot of points here thank you very much for that uh let's just break it down a little bit um right so so you let's let, let me go back to, uh, forward to to fa fast forward <laughs> actually no back yeah. to when when we started um you know you said you're 15 16 years of age when you started singing and i know that in that age we were in high school already and we had to sing opera i mean it's a very young age i think still it's pretty young for someone at that age to like opera and to love singing opera can you share about the love for classical and opera singing in that age for you because most of us and and i know that you were the only guy in our generation if i remember well hope i'm not offended yeah. from our colleague singers around um but i think yeah. you're the only guy in that generation in our generation that the only guy and you loved so, classical music so much and what i was very inspired by with you is the fact that you love opera so much and i knew it i could always I could tell you you love this genre you know you love classical and, and opera singing so yeah something I'm, I'm trying to understand how come at that young age you already knew that this is what you wanted because many of us yeah, right? to find themselves right that's a good question boyano um uh, winston um uh, as i said like the music the love for music was always there so that time was like any kind of a music right like as a young guy mm -hmm. but then when i uh, it happened to be like I had a very, I had a, like a very interesting professor in okay. high school, uh, opera singing. Okay. We share the same professor, by the way. Yeah, yeah. and uh, she she gave us the love for singing. Okay, okay. So she was the one that introduced me to like mm. to to whatever you know. What's what's the, how is the classical music as a love? is to love to sing or to sing is to love you know it's it goes both both by vice versa so it's very philosophical is to love to sing or to sing to love you know mm -hmm. uh she kind of introduced me to do to that kind of uh philosophical point of view as as a as a singer as a like at, at, the, at that time at very young age 
she was kind of maybe I could say a little one of the weirdest professors that we had at, you know kind of a little bit kind of pushy but yeah she was she sort pushy. of <laughs> gave us the love gave us the real love to be able to sing you know yeah 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 nowadays I'm just like I'm very happy and grateful that she kind of pushed us off the the grit you know off the edge to mm. be able to sing mm. so that was good she kind of put us in put put us in fire so she put me in fire she gave me a couple of exa examples she actually she had a very specific energy and like aura and like all this stuff yeah that yeah, was yeah. shining yeah, yeah, through yeah. her That's for sure. and That's she was kind of em embodied em she was embedded embedded with the with the with that energy and she kept that you know and uh, everything was kind of like energy at that time right so we as the youngsters we, we i felt that, that yeah we absorbed yeah. that energy from her yeah, exactly yeah. i felt that yeah i felt that energy so that was that was actually for me enough to be able to just uh explore mm -hmm. as a young guy but mm -hmm. you know what i've always loved like you said i was mostly concentrated I, i've always loved any kind of a wave waves of singing but for me opera was something that, that was yeah. resonated yeah. resonated, resonated with, you. with you yeah to be very honest with you i'm so impressed i'm very impressed because in my case uh, you know uh, thank you very much for sharing about our teacher first of all she was amazing um she, she passed away some time ago but, god bless her yeah uh, she was she was a uh, yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul, you know, and someone that, you know, that I've heard that, that, that she is really like, like happy with us and how far we got into life with singing. So yeah, she that's, was, that's uh, like the, she really lived for music and for singers and she really wanted all her kids to be successful. So that's very good that she totally. went her. And then what, what I want to say now, um, you know, in, in my case, it was different. I, I, I came from, I was singing as, seven years old kid I was already on TV and you, you could see me you could see me singing little songs and for me you know how tough it was when I was 15 and 16 yeah. to suddenly have to change my vocal placement and I was told to sing yeah. wait <clears throat> so but you know I what came. for you any kind it was, of I think it, it worked out perfectly uh because you were very versatile you know like you you were able to do that you were able to do jazz and pop singing i i remember that i like i even you even kept that nowadays do you know what i'm saying like so <laughs> yes uh, it's my signature being versatile <laughs> yeah 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 i agree i agree you know whoever finds themselves in that kind of spot it's 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 beautiful you know what i think thank you so much and you know what i think martin after a while i think it's all been written in the stars basically because until you know you kind of trying to find yourself and who you are and i i am this you know if i wasn't a singer i would have become a composer like a serious composer because i like composing music so much this is what i do as right well. but, yeah and, right. I, and i and i and i guess because of that thing that i also have in me I, I kind of navigated from one genre to another because this was huge. My love for music and how I perceive and how I listen and to the music, to music generally, it, it goes all over the place, you know. And the fact that later when you move from one country to another, you develop a little bit of your, you, you take a little bit from every culture and then you become this melting pot of, you know, a lot of influences and that actually influences your, who you are. As the in the end, this is how we grow up. This is how we grow up. The more you're versatile, the more your voice vocal technique it's uh, versatile to everything, the more the more beneficial it is. So you agree that being versatile is not a bad thing? No, not at all. Not at all. As an opera singer, not at all. Cuz you know why? Cuz uh, cuz for me, let's say uh, uh, part of the vocal technique when when it's about opera and when you when I approach cuz I've been singing pop, I mean not professionally, but I've been just jamming on myself with my friends i could do some jazz too mm -hmm. and when i implement that in the singing kind of production i implement the same uh, Techni vocal technique yeah, right yeah, yeah yeah i mean it's all about mind driven do you know what i'm saying like it's mind driven everything is driven here it's very important to uh the vocal technique style that you've been taught that will because you know uh it's there is a many different type of styles. People like 
you know, like some people said, it's a one style. Some people say it's different. You know, everybody has a different style, this and that. Mm -hmm. But as as an experienced, you know, singer, opera singer, and I've been teaching kids too. A little, I have an experience with kids too. So from what I've experienced from the my professors was were guiding me. This is how I've been guiding a little bit of my, you know, kind of kids work sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I've been implementing because everybody's a different persona individual. Yeah. You, you cannot treat everybody the same uh, way. Absolutely. Equal, exactly the same and approach exactly the same with the voice technique. Because somebody, because yeah. somebody has, has some kind of a difficulties from another level or difficulties uh, like, um, like, you know, like, it's not all free, you know, some of the muscles are tight, the back tension, muscles, tension, any kind tension of muscles. In the, in the singing is very common these days, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, and, and you get stiff, you get stiff, it all yeah. depends, on, it all depends, like the more free the sound is, the better. Yeah. Right, so you, so we don't develop that stiffness. Yeah, that, this, that stiffness is very common because we, we live in very fast and stressed times. So usually we carry a lot of tension around the shoulders and, and that wow. really can impact, you know, our, our throat as well. So tell me a little yeah. bit more things that we, I would like us to discuss. Um, you said, you mentioned the emotionality and how that is important. And I want to ask you a little bit about the bel canto singing because I know that you're sure. a big lover a big lover of bel canto singing. So tell us, tell us, Martin, a little bit more about the emotionality and, and, and something, something that, I, that I was having as an issue many, many years back is that, you know, when your mood changes... We all have you know, that issue. We all had that issue. Emotions. We all pass, pass through those issues. And, well, how uh, do you, my question is, if your emotion changes every day, you know, uh, and, and yeah. if you go through that's a very good point. That's a very good point. So yeah. How do you and the bel canto? It means beautiful singing. That means that if you sing beautifully, bel canto is a natural way of singing with, with that which doesn't force, right? Which doesn't. You, yeah. you, you're not supposed to be sounding like you're shouting or like you're trying to prove a point. It just has to come yeah. out in a natural way. For me. But how do you achieve that? In these days, do you think bel canto is dead because we live in very fast times and everyone is like crazy? Yes, what? bravo. That's a very good uh, yeah. pinpoint, you know? Very so good pinpoint. We, I mean. So what, what do you think? How can we bring bel canto back nowadays? What is? It will take that, a while to explain this. I can talk I can talk on this uh, team <laughs> for little, like... Um, yeah, no, don't go yeah. into that because... Shortcuts. People, yeah, let's, let's make it a little brief. You yeah, know, people have to explore for themselves as well. It's a you style, know. it's a technique, yeah. it's a style that it been developed in 14th centuries in Europe, in okay. Italy. And, uh, you know, the music, the opera music comes from Italy. And that time, when even in the Baroque time period, Renaissance and Baroque time, that was the time of bel canto singing and beautiful singing. And then it comes to a transition to a Roman romanticism period. That's when they still kept the bel canto singing. But, you know, the 21st century, like you said, it's a very um, uh, turbulent uh, tempo, dynamic life and everything. And uh, all the whatever, whatever was back in the days, all, of, all the technique styles have been totally, totally, uh, could say, evaporated or vanished. But there is still now days rare people that you can find that still teach bel canto or beautiful singing. It means, bel canto means to sing on a one line and, uh, and just phrase that line. But it needs to be beautiful with the vowels. That's the Everybody to understand. If it's not beautiful, then it's not bel canto. Yeah, yeah. The sound should be very, very natural. It should be, be very calm. It's also the way, right, when we talk about bel canto, bel canto it's a way of beautiful singing, but it's a style of lots of beautiful emotions also. And like we may mention beautiful singing, but emotion. So under that music line, there's a words. The words are the emotion. The music itself, it's the emotion too, but the words are the feelings and the emotions, right? They're all together. Yeah. So it's something that uh, it takes a while to learn, to develop. Okay. Um, if you want to share something, something that is on YouTube out there, uh, we're going to listen for like a minute or two, a little bit from 
uh, Martin gives 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 the core of singing Le Lissir d'Amore. This is something that's the elixir of love. That's the opera, the elixir of love okay. from uh, from the from the composer Gaetano Donizetti. Donizetti was a bel canto composer. Very good. Very right, good. while we're talking about Belcanto, but of the city was Belcanto composer. There's a couple, lots of Belcanto composers, but particularly we're listening, we're going to listen to a little bit of this. So I think you might can scroll a little bit because this is the march. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. So from here somewhere, we're going to listen to like a minute. All right. Is that okay? Can I just play it now? Right. Sure. Okay. So this was recorded, I think, 2016. Uh, this was a production in uh, Canada, in uh, the capital city of Canada, Ottawa. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a production for the Ottawa Opera House. Uh, the, uh, the director was uh, some Italian girl, girl that is very famous. She, she sang with Pavarotti, so she, that's her opera house over there. And she invited us. Uh, we had a normally yeah, audition. I was, I was, I was. I had a lot to be. I was accepted for the main role, and uh, I was just very happy. This was actually my my first debut, the de debut in uh, Canada. Oh wow! Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, this is my first debut uh, stage with orchestra and uh, choir. Lots of people, a conductor. Um, you have. Um, stage conduct like it's a lot of people you know when it's about opera production it's a whole management yeah yeah all right martin you know what thank you so much i'm gonna have to make this a little because we can talk for ages right oh yeah <laughs> i know a long time so i'm gonna stop yeah. the screen share and i'm gonna say thank you so much for uh being with me this morning this afternoon actually it's evening for you with 12 hours difference guys because martin is yeah it's 10 o'clock here i think it's uh it's already 10 uh, 10 uh, 10 okay, exactly. and yeah. i have to go to work because right we're from thanks for <laughs> thanks for inviting me and uh I was very pleased and, uh, you know, I accepted it right away. I'm like, yeah, you know, no, totally, absolutely. Thank you, Martin. We're going to share some, you're going to see the video. Uh, we're going to share some, you know, the, the composers and, and we're going to share a little bit of Belcanto singing, etc. in the, in our video. And once it's done, Martin, and you will also be able to, you know, you, you, you have the video. And uh, meanwhile, if you want to get to know more about opera, there we go. We've got a person. We we have you have connections so uh i hope you guys loved loved uh, what you heard and i hope you you this this sort of conversation will will, will help you to like opera a little more and uh, we certainly do yeah and i uh, hope to inspire all the young generation to just uh keep singing no matter if it's opera or pop or yeah. jazz yeah. or any kind of an indie maybe style today. <laughs> You know, Whatever, as just, long as we sing, it's it's gonna yeah. be a good thing if you, if we stay and sing. Like like I said, to sing is to love, or to love is to sing. 
yeah. you know it, it needs yeah. to be with the heart right like it, it's all, everything comes from the from your heart Absolutely. just the love will will make us will make us sing you have you have all the love in the world when it comes to singing martin thank you very much for being with me thanks for the invitation very, very soon. talk to you see you bye. guys bye bye, bye.